word of the Lord from the book of Job chapter 1. We're reading verses 14, 16, 17, 18. And then we move to 15, 16, 17, and 19. Just the selected past of that. You're ready to declare that as we rise on our feet to honor the word of the Lord? Say yes. Job chapter 1 and verse 14. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. Remember, there came a messenger. Verse 16. While he was yet speaking, there came also another. Amen. And verse number 17. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said. And verse 18. While he was yet speaking, there came also another. What do you find common from these verses of the scripture? While he was yet speaking, there came also another messenger. The Lord rebuke evil messengers. The blood of Jesus condemn their messages in your life. In the name of Jesus. And verse number 15, what says the scripture? And the, I want us to just read the latter part. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. And verse 16, the latter part of verse 16. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Verse 17, the latter part. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Verse 19, the latter part. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. What do you find common from those verses we've just read? And I only am escaped to alone to tell thee. Evil messengers will always find their way, no matter what, just to spread the evil news. But the network of evil news against you is cut off. Amen. The root is dried, to, is dried up in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit, now is the hour. Glorify Jesus. Amen. Grant unction, grant deliverance. Impact your word with signs and multiple wonders. And thank you for the blessing upon thy word. We, somebody say, I manifest the blessing of the word of God. Shout it louder and believe it. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Joyfully be seated. Based on this, the title of today's prophetic message is Victory Over Repeated Tragedies. Is somebody celebrating that victory in the house? You know you are here and you are celebrating victory over tragedy. You better celebrate it. There are special angels here. To make sure there is no occurrence of tragedy in your life. How many sensitive to the move of the Holy Spirit and want to establish this as a blessing in your life? You better wake up in your spirit, man. Celebrate victory over tragedy. Celebrate victory over repeated tragedy. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah my Father. If you want to watch me, you keep watching. You better proclaim me as you are declaring, as you are celebrating, there is a confirmation, there is a fulfillment. That tragedy is not your portion. Tragedy will not occur in your life. Tragedy will not find its way into your house. Tragedy will not find its way to your home. Somebody better celebrate. Is this the better way to celebrate? The Lord rebuke lukewarmness. Bind it and cast it out. I celebrate Jesus for giving me victory over tragedy. Tragedy is bound and cast out of my life. Thank you, Father, because the blood of Jesus is upon this gathering to rebuke and to condemn and cast out tragedy. The blood of Jesus condemned tragedy and cast it out. Somebody thank God for victory over tragedy. 
Somebody rejoice over tragedy. Somebody triumph over tragedy. Somebody prevail over tragedy. The blood of Jesus rebuked tragedy in my life. The blood of Jesus cut up tragedy in my life. The blood of Jesus abolished tragedy in my life. The blood of Jesus condemned tragedy in my life. The network of tragedy is destroyed. The strong man of tragedy over my life, over this garden, you are cut off, you are cast out in the name of Jesus. The covenant of tragedy over my life is abolished. Lift up your voice, reject the covenant of tragedy. By the authority in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I reject the covenant of tragedy. I condemn the covenant of tragedy. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn tragedy in my life. The covenant of tragedy you are abolish in my life, you are bound and cast out to desolation. The covenant, the hold, the claim, the root of tragedy, you are rooted out of my life. Re I reject the covenant of tragedy by the blood of Jesus. I break covenant with tragedy. Tragedy, loose your grip over this garden and cast out in the name of Jesus. Projection of tragedy, you are wasted, you are desolated, you have no hold, you have no claim. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost, I root tragedy out of this place. Root tragedy out of my life in Jesus' name. The strong man, the strong woman, the principality, the stronghold, the altar, the weapons of tragedy shall not have hold over my life. They shall not have hold over this gathering. Blood of Jesus, rebuke and condemn me in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice, reject the covenant of tragedy, break asunder the, the, root, the chains of tragedy. Repeated tragedy is not your portion. Reject it, condemn it, reject it, break the covenant, cast it out, root it out. Can you double the aggression? Maya. Take a taboo. Mesquete legarona macatuca duta. Mesuga laga rosoga lega lega rata de acatadioa. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Begin to declare the covenant of life upon you. Say, I have life and life more in abundance. The covenant of life is upon me. The blessing of life is upon me. In Jesus' name. I have life. I have life more in abundance. In Jesus' name. The covenant of life is upon me. The blessing of life is upon me. The peace of God is upon me. Light be upon this garden. The covenant of life is upon this garden. The blessing of life is upon this garden. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the church says, was the title of today's prophetic message victory over repeated tragedies shout it louder somebody victory over repeated tragedies say in the name of jesus i i prevail over tragedy and the chains of tragedy you are cut off and cast out of my life in jesus name. if i were you you are praying it in a normal way you better lift up. If I were you, I will give it all because the Lord is singling you out for miracle. No matter the projection of tragedy, it will not have hold over your life. Come against stumbling spirit and arise over tragedy in Jesus' name. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I, I, the covenant of life is upon me. Tragedy is not my portion. Tragedy shall not have way in my life. In the name of Jesus, tragedy is not the portion of my children. Tragedy is not the portion of my spouse. The blood of Jesus rebuke it, cast it out in Jesus' name. Tragedy, you have no hold in this garden. Tragedy, you have no hold in my house. Tragedy, you have no hold in my health. Tragedy, you have no hold in my career. Tragedy, you have no hold in my finances. Tragedy, you have no hold in the calling and the election of God for my life. Tragedy, you have no hold in the gifting of God for my life. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Condemn tragedy in every ramification of life. Condemn it, reject it. Condemn it, reject it. Ah, kayakato makati kalia. Ege dege ligo baba balaka dugaroska. Eliki teketu la minga rotabua. Rone magadu baga baliga roteke lika kodea. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church says, listen. We just read passages, verses of the scripture connected to Job. Job was an example of a righteous man that in Job chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says he was the greatest of all the men of the heath. He was wealthy, he was righteous, a blessed man. Do I have a blessed man or woman in the house? Am I getting a good response? Do I have the righteous in the house? Somebody shout hallelujah. Let the righteous of the Lord shout hallelujah. 
Let the redeemed of the Lord shout hallelujah. Let those who are blessed shout hallelujah. Is that really a shout? Job was a man whom God could boast about. That God had to say, have you considered my servant Job? Cons and consider what God, what Satan even testified of Job. After multiple attacks to make sure he would destroy him, he might have destroyed everybody. Satan does not have power to destroy everybody. God will single you out to elevate you. Satan said, I've gone through and forth. I've seen men in all their strength. I've seen men in their height, in their peak, and in their low times. But this man, Job, is hard to penetrate. May that be your testimony. That even it's not ordinary demons that were assigned against him. It wasn't just a principality or power or a ruler. It wasn't a familiar spirit. But he was stronger than all of them. That devil said, leave this man. I will take up the assignment. And devil himself, the height of wickedness tried him, but prevailed not. In like manner, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, and as his spirit lives, the devil will not prevail against you. His demons will not prevail against you. His weapons shall not prevail against you. In the name of Jesus. Here, yeah, what... The devil even said about, the, about Job in chapter 1, verse number 10. This we consider the, the divine benefits upon believer. What says the scripture in Job chapter 1, verse 10? He said, Has not thou made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands. And his substance is increased in the land. What a testimony of a man. May this be your testimony. And of a truth, this is the, these are the benefits of the righteous. May we come to the consciousness of our divine benefits. Look at somebody eye to eye and say, come to the consciousness of your divine benefits. Or oh, look at somebody else eye to eye and say, come to the consciousness of your divine benefits. There are great benefits for believers, but it's the device of the enemy to make us feel otherwise. Look, the devil knew all this, yet he projected an attack. What were the divine benefits? He said, has not thou made an edge over him? There was an edge. No matter the craftiness or the device of the wicked, they cannot penetrate. It was like devil saying, what have we not done? Which demons have we not sent? The closest enemy we have used, they could not penetrate. There was an edge nobody can beat. That is your divine benefit as a child of God. Unless you open the door, unless you let down your guard, that gives the enemy a, 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 a hold. The enemy understands how greatly God cherishes you to protect you. You believe that? Say yes. He said, devil himself say, God, you have made an head about him, not him alone, even his whole house, and about all that he has on every side. Can somebody celebrate this divine benefit over the Lord? Say, eternal father, the holy one of Israel, I thank you because you have made your head all about me. Please leave that passage until I move to the next passage. Can somebody celebrate that divine benefit? Say, eternal father, the holy one of Israel. I thank you for your divine benefits upon my life. You have made your edge of fire, your edge of protection over me. Thank you for the edge of, of protection over you and your family. Can you? Amen. A lot of people, they come to the house of God with an unprepared mind. There are angels already released to activate. You, if you know how the things of God works, as you are thanking God for his edge of protection, it will be fortified. It will be stronger. It will be greater. 
it will become unpenetrable for the enemy. The more you appreciate and acknowledge that edge over you, the stronger it will be. And you are doing like this. You really don't value, if you value divine benefit and you see how angels are already celebrating you, you will, be, you will do it with all your, all your being. You don't know that if it had not been the law. You think a lot of people want to lift up their hands. They pray, God, give me another chance to lift up this hand. Something has held their hand bound. It's not possible. You can lift your hand for God and you are saying, I don't have time. Your mind is wandering about. May God forgive you. Who wants to appreciate the divine benefits here? The edge of protection upon you, upon your children, upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your job. He said, there is an hedge I cannot break. There is a protection I cannot penetrate. Can you thank God for his protection? No demon can penetrate. No affliction can penetrate. Death and tragedy cannot penetrate. Affliction cannot penetrate. Jehovah, my father, I celebrate your divine benefits over my life for your age of protection over me. I give you praise. Can you thank God for the age of protection? Your age of protection over me by day, by noon, by night. Ah, somebody celebrate that age of protection. Sickness cannot penetrate. Disease cannot penetrate. No weapon of the enemy can penetrate. Jehovah, my father, this morning, I come with gratitude to celebrate your divine benefits over my life. Your edge of protection over me. Your edge of protection over my house. Your edge of protection over this garden. Take all the glory, Hoga. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Celebrate it. Amen. <laughs> Listen, this is was Satan himself talking about the benefits of the righteous. We are still going to celebrate him for that. Those who appreciate the divine benefit, read on. He said, thou hast made an edge of protection about him and his household and about all that he has on every side. Someone say on every side. Shout it louder. It doesn't matter which side the enemy will come. There's a head of protection. There is no part of you, no side of you that is not protected. Can you come to this consciousness with thanksgiving? Say, eternal father, I give you praise because you have made a head of protection all about me, all around me, all around my house, all around my going out and coming in, all about me on every side. Thank God for that, the protection on every side, on every side, on every side. I am protected on every side. I am defended on every side. The Lord is protecting me. The blood of Jesus is protecting this garden on every side. The mercy of God is protecting this garden on every side. The blood of Jesus is protecting this garden on every side, on every side. Divine protection on every side. Hey! Can you celebrate it? The Lord is protecting you even when you feel unprotected. The Lord is protecting you even when you feel unprotected. The Lord is defending you even when you feel undefended. Thank him for that, for his edge. As you travel, no accident, no tragedy, no blood shedding. Can you celebrate Jesus? Hey, whether conscious or unconsciously, whether you are asleep or awake, there's a head of protection all over you. Can you celebrate it? Can you celebrate it? I see it's getting stronger. The protection of the Lord is stronger. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Read further, the latter part. He said, thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increasing the land. Can you thank God for blessing the work of your hands? Ah, Jehovah, my father, thank you for blessing the works of my hand. That only one of Israel. Can you thank him sincerely and with all gratitude? Thank you for blessing the works of my hand. Thank you for blessing the works of my hand. Je Let it be known in the heaven on heart and under the heart that Jehovah, the Holy One of Israel, has blessed the works of my hands. The works of my hands are blessed. Ha! And Father, I thank you for increasing all my substance in the land. In the land of the living, the Lord has increased me. The Lord has multiplied me. The Lord has made me fruitful. The Lord has blessed me. The Lord has multiplied me. He has made me fruitful. In this land of the living, he has increased my substance. He has blessed the work of my hands. In Jesus' name. Can we just give God a wave of and say, Eternal Father, thank you for encompassing me with your mercy. 
Thank you for encompassing me with your protection. In Jesus' name. Wow. If devil himself could testify of this about the righteous, this is very true. And remember, devil is a liar from the very beginning. But for the first time, when he stands before God, the truth will be revealed. Most times when devil attack people, he operates always as a liar. He makes you feel you are unprotected. He makes you feel you are not worthy to be blessed. But when he stands before the truth himself, the living God, the truth will be revealed. The truth about your life is that you are protected. The truth about your life is that there is an edge of protection about you. The truth about your life is God has blessed you and make you fruitful. Because from the foundation when God created human beings, he said he blessed them and he commanded be fruitful. That's the truth statement and that is settled forever. It's a lie of the devil to make you feel otherwise. Somebody say shame on the devil. Shout hallelujah. So Job became a pattern for the righteous. God is saying, this is what I do for you, the righteous. I put a hedge all over you. I protect you. I preserve you. You may be shaken thoroughly in every area, but God is with you. And in chapter 2, verse number 3, here again God testifying of Job about the integrity of Job, regardless of the satanic onslaught. Satan had gone to attack him severally, but God still testified of him saying, read, and the Lord said unto Satan, as thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God, and assured evil and still he holdeth fast his integrity although thou movest me against him although you move me against him the voice translation of that chapter 2 verse 3 it says despite the fact that you provoke me to wreck him for no particular reason to take away his protection and prosperity. The voice translation. It, it says, despite the fact that you provoked me to wreck him for no particular reason. To take away his protection and his prosperity. May the mercy of God prevail over every provocation over your life. He said, despite the fact that you provoke me to wreck him, my mercy see prevail. May the mercy of God prevail over provocation set against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's God said, I love this man with everything that I have. Even though you are stirring me up to destroy him, to wreck him, I will still show him mercy. Even though you are provoking me to take away his protection and prosperity, the protection and prosperity you enjoy daily, nothing will twist it, nothing will take it away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody say, I have obtained God's mercy and I will enjoy his protection. Say it again, I have obtained God's mercy. And I will enjoy his prosperity. Because I have obtained God's mercy. It shall be well with me. I have obtained God's mercy. And I enjoy his protection. I have obtained God's mercy. And I enjoy his prosperity. And in the name of Jesus. Nothing will take away the protection. Nothing will take the prosperity. And the favor of God for my life. In the name of Jesus. And the church says. Job went through a steady persistent chain of evil occurrences. Somebody said, the Lord rebuke chains of evil occurrences in my life. Say, the blood of Jesus rebuke persistent occurrences in my life. 
the blood of Jesus rebuke chains of evil occurrences in my life. Blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn chains of evil occurrences in my life. Blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn chains of evil occurrences. You better lift up your voice and condemn it. Let the power in the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn chains of evil occurrences in my life. The power in the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn chains of evil occurrences in my life. In Jesus name we pray. Say blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn persistent evil occurrences in my life. Amen. Listen, this is no joke this morning. May the Lord rebuke and destroy persistent attack. An attack that sees any other place to go, but just says it is you. And if wants to keep coming and say it's like this is where I have to stay. Someone say, No place for evil in my life. Therefore, lift up your voice and decree. Say, blood of Jesus, rebuke and condemn persistent evil attack in my life. Let the power in the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn persistent evil attack in my life. Blood of Jesus, rebuke, rebuke, condemn, rebuke, condemn, rebuke, condemn. Uh -huh. Let the power in the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn persistent evil attacks in my life. I, I see the hand of the Lord over somebody right there. That persistent evil attack, the blood of Jesus overthrow it and cast it out. Lift up your voice, say, persistent evil attack against my life. Holy Ghost fire, overthrow, cast out. Overthrow, cast out. Overthrow, cast out. Overthrow, cast out. In the name of Jesus, persistent evil occurrence in my life. Holy Ghost fire, overthrow and cast out. In the name of Jesus. Somebody better lift up your voice. Cast it out. Persistent evil attack. Loose your hold and flee unto desolations in Jesus' name. Listen, the reason why you should focus and allow the Holy Spirit to establish this as a blessing in your life is this. Because Satan is still the old serpent. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 says, Now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. This happen for them for us as examples. And in, first, and in Romans chapter 15, Romans chapter 15, and in verse number 4, what says the scripture? The Bible says, For whatsoever things were written for time, were written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So, this that happened to Job has become a pattern to awaken the righteous of evil devices, the chains and the persistent demand of evil occurrence, it shall not be your portion. And the Lord also said that pattern that regardless of how persistent these chains of evil occurrences were, Job prevailed. All that he lost, restored. Those who ridiculed him, they came not only begging, seeking his mercy, they even brought an offering of reconciliation. So, the cycle is completed in what God is trying to bring to us as believers, saying that whatever thing you go through, there is victory at the end. No matter the persistent attack, there is restoration at the end. There is recovery at the end. So if this becomes the pattern, it means you can defeat, you can overcome, you can triumph, you can prevail, you can enjoy the blessing of the Lord and prevail over wicked devices. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I prevail, I triumph, I overcome every persistent attack against my life. Lift up your voice and decree that by the blood of Jesus, triumph over them. By the blood of Jesus, prevail over them. By the blood of Jesus, triumph, prevail, triumph, prevail. I see somebody triumphing right in the house. Ye kata, this kata na mozo gabode gadia. 
In Jesus' name we pray. If this becomes the pattern that Satan will always persist and we come with multiple chains of attack, my focus is, it's not about the attack or the rage of the enemy because it's the nature of the Satan to be evil. It is also the nature of God to do good and bless his people. It is also the nature of God to release the head of protection over you. No matter what is shaking you in your home, in your family, I see victory in your life. I see rejoicing and restore. The Lord is talking to somebody here. You've been through a lot. Everything seems to be shaking and it's like it's, the more you're trying to patch it up and make it work, it doesn't last. I see divine intervention taking place. I see divine intervention taking place. This was Job. He thought he could manage it. He thought he could patch it through. But things were getting worse on every move to make it work out well. But in all this, he prevailed. I see you prevailing. The grace to prevail is upon you. The strength to prevail is upon you. In the name of Jesus. And the church says... And now, if this becomes the pattern, the Bible says, least devil take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of the devices. And what were the devices against Job? In verse 14, as we have read in Job chapter 1, verse 14, he said, and there came a messenger. And the messenger came to give an evil report. And in verse 17, what says the scripture? While he was yet speaking, there came also another messenger. And in verse, in, an, in the next verse, verse 18, while he was yet speaking, there came another messenger. You could see repeated evil news. The law rebuke every covenant that is tearing up repeated tragedy in your life. The blood of Jesus arrests evil messengers. And destroy their messages. Say the covenant. Stirring up repeated tragedy. I reject you. I renounce you. I disconnect from you. I break loose. I break free from you. The blood of Jesus rebuke, condemn, covenant. Stirring up repeated tragedy in my life. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus rebuke, condemn any covenant. Stirring up repeated tragedy in my life. Reject it. You better reject it, renounce it, and cast it out. Covenant sharing up re repeated tragedy. Get out of my life. In Jesus' name. Say, evil messenger, the blood of Jesus is against you. By the mercy of the Holy One of Israel, I prevail over evil messengers and their messages. In Jesus' name. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Shout that louder. Holy Ghost fire. Arrest evil messengers and destroy their messages against me. Holy Ghost, I arrest evil messengers and destroy their messages against me. Holy Ghost, I arrest evil messengers and destroy their messages against me. Blood of Jesus, arrest evil messengers and destroy their messages against me. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arrest evil messengers, destroy their messages against me. In Jesus' name. And the church says, and if you read through from verse 15 also, the latter part, you will hear, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. In verse 16, the latter part, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. And in verse 17, the latter part, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. And in verse 19, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. The devil will want to stir up an evil witness. Somebody say the Lord rebuke evil witness. Shout it louder. The devil will, when the, on each of these, when the tragedy occurred, the devil has a way of sparing a witness and waiting for evil to happen in order to spread it. The assignment of each of them was to witness evil occurring and go tell him. They have seen Job prospering for multiple years, but they've been waiting, expecting 
for an evil occurrence and they escaped to say it because that was their assignment. Whatever power, spirit, personality, weapon, or device that been assigned to wait for evil to happen in your life, it will be upon their own head. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that been stirred up, waiting for evil occurrence in your life, it will be their own portion. In Jesus' name. That there were people, you can see, that the enemy has strategically planted in the life of Job. Their assignment was, we want to see something bad happen. You say you are prospering. You say you are healthy. You say you are powerful. You say you are righteous. They say, let's see how far you can go. And the moment it occurs, the assignment is, we spread it. The Lord is arising against them. Say, power, spirit, and personality assigned as evil witness to witness evil occurrence in my life. Let God arise and shatter them asunder in the name of Jesus. Power, spirit, and personality assigned as witnesses to witness evil in my life and to spread it. Let God arise, scatter, shatter, scatter. Let the blood of Jesus forbid their assignment. Let the blood of Jesus terminate the assignment. Let the blood of Jesus overthrow the assignment. Let the sword of Jehovah cut them off. Cut them off. In the name of Jesus, somebody better pray. This shakate la katada. Meskete le grus katalama runamo. Meskata ramon zadea. Power, spirit, and personalities that have been assigned as a witness to see evil occurrences in my life. Power, spirit, and personality assigned as witnesses. Power, spirit, and personality assigned as witnesses to see evil occurrences in my life. Let God arise and scatter them asunder. Let God arise and scatter them asunder. In the name of Jesus. Hey, kaya, ya, 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 he got up. Hey, amen. Can you see? There was something that occurred that made everybody there perish. But on each of these, somebody will say, I escaped. Escape to do what? In another occurrence, escape to do what? They've been assigned from the beginning. This man say everything is going well. Let's see how well it will go. This one says he's going to make it. Let's see how he will do it. Remember, Job is set as an example of the righteous. That whatever, whoever that's been assigned to watch evil occurrences in your life, it will fall upon their own head. Yeah. Regarding you, I speak by the spirit of prophecy. Blessing will occur. Yeah. Favor will occur. Yeah. It's always good news that they will hear in your camp. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, therefore lift up your voice. This is no joke. I don't know what's been assigned against you to monitor, to watch evil occurrence, to facilitate evil occurrence, to network evil occurrence. The blood of Jesus rebuke and destroy it in the name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. If I were you, I would double the aggression. Power, spirit, and personality assigned to witness evil occurrences in my life. Power, spirit, and personality assigned to witness evil occurrences in my life. Holy Ghost fire, turn it upon their own heads. Turn it upon their own head. Turn it upon their own head. In the name of Jesus, those who have been assigned to witness evil occurrences in my life. Holy Ghost fire, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, turn it upon their own head. Turn it upon their own head. Turn it upon their own head. In the name of Jesus. Hey, karatata. Those who have been assigned to witness evil occurrences in my life. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Turn it upon their own heads. Turn it upon their own heads. Turn it upon their own heads. In the name of Jesus. Now. This should be your own report. That when there is an evil occurrence, let it be, your testimony will be, and I only am escaped alone and my entire household 
from this evil occurrence. The enemy cannot twist your testimony. It is your lot as a child of God. No matter the evil, evil occurrence, you, will, you should testify. And I only and my household will escape alone to tell the story, to testify of the goodness of the Lord. If that is your portion, say yes. Listen, why the enemy must not twist your testimony? Because it is written, a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. It shall not come near thee. Only with their eyes that shall behold and see the reward of the wicked. If that is your portion, say yes. Why the enemy must not twist your testimony? The Bible says rejoicing is in the tabernacle of the righteous. Therefore, I decree the, uh, the wicked ones will not twist your testimony. They won't pervert your testimony. Somebody say, I've got a good report. Somebody say, I've got a press, test, a press report. And what is your testimony? That no matter the tragedy, no matter the evil occurrence, my portion is, and I only and my household, we escape or alone to tell the story. In Jesus' name, if that be your portion, lift up your voice. Say, no matter the tragedy, no matter the affliction, this is my testimony that and I only and my household, we escape alone to tell the goodness of the law. We escape alone to tell the goodness of the law. If that is your testimony, you better say it. No matter the tragedy, no matter the affliction, no matter the evil occurrence, this is my testimony. This is my covenant testimony. And I only and my household, we escape alone to tell of the goodness of the Lord. Hey, somebody better declare that is your portion, that is your testimony. No matter the evil occurrence, no matter the affliction, no matter the tragedy, no matter the wicked projection, this is my testimony that an I only am my asshole. We escape, we escape, we escape, we escape. Somebody divine, divine escape over your life. Declare divine escape over your life. In the name of Jesus. I see divine escape. I see divine escape. I see divine escape. Madiga lagarosco balia. Ye yagaruda baba baba ranamamo. Somebody receive that divine escape over you and over your house. The blood of Jesus is making that divine escape to come to pass. Meskide lekete katata. I see it happening. He. This is my testimony. That no matter the evil occurrence, no matter the tragedy, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this is my divine testimony. And I only and my household, we escape alone to tell the goodness of the Lord in Jesus' name. And the church says, you receive that as a blessing, say yes. Lift up your voice, say this, what the covenant and the attack Steering bad news. I reject you. I renounce you. Get out of my life. Cast it out, cast it out, cast it out. Reject it and cast it out. Oh, somebody who understand that we say it loud. The covenant and the attack. Steering up bad news. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. I reject it. I renounce it. In Jesus' name, let go of me and get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Loose your hold and get out. In Jesus' name, we pray. Someone say, the covenant of blessing is upon my life. Declare that in the name of Jesus. The covenant of blessing is upon my life. Lift up your voice and declare that. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the covenant of blessing is upon my life. The covenant of peace is upon my life. The covenant of healing is upon my life. The covenant of grace is upon my life. The covenant of favor is upon my life. The covenant of wealth is upon my life. The covenant of prosperity is upon my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Now listen. It's time to undo the pattern of the enemy in your life. If they are bringing this sequential evil occurrences before one finishes they stir up another before one is done they stir up another somebody say not anymore, not anymore. let it be that as the blessing of God comes upon your life multiple will be at many more blessings will be attracted to your life you receive that as a blessing say yes 
And that's the covenant of God for you as a child of God. Because God can command angelic reinforcement to always bring good news unto you. God can command angelic reinforcement in every situation. There will be reinforcement of angels rather than a reinforcement of evil. Before this one is done, another one is coming. Say, hey, another one. You see, you need to know their tradition. It's not that they will just walk in and say, Job, this was what we saw. No. They wish, hey, see. The way they will be rolling and mourning and lamenting and say, what happened? Say it. You say, it's bad. Oh. Say it. Rather than having such repeated evil occurrences, the Lord can stir up repeated good news for your life. Rather than having repeated affliction, the Lord can stir up multiple flow of blessings into your life. The Lord can assign angels of good news into your life. Can you lift up your hands and welcome angels of good news into your life? Yes, from one stage of your life to another, angels of good news. From one area of your life to another, welcome angels of good news. Say in the name of Jesus, angels of good tidings, I welcome you into my life. Angels of good tidings, you are welcome into my life. Can somebody celebrate that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? I welcome the angels of good tidings into my life. I receive the angels of good news into my life. Welcome them, welcome them, welcome them, welcome them. In the name of Jesus, angels of good tidings, angels of good news. You welcome, you welcome, you welcome into every area of my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. And the church says, now, since the Bible says, now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. And if Job becomes the pattern for believers, consider the nature of attacks against Job as the way by which the devil operates. Remember, he's still the whole serpent. And we can overcome him in every way. In Jesus' name. What was the first at satanic attack against Job? Chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. What says the scripture? Read. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabbaths fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I only am escaped alone to tell it. In verse number 15, the Bible says, the Sabines, they took away, they invaded all that Job had and they slew his servants. Somebody say, the Lord rebuked the invaders. They invaded, they took away and they killed. The invaders and killers of glorious inheritance shall not prosper in your life. The first attack was all that he had because God blessed all that he had. I command that invaders of your glorious inheritance, they shall not prosper. Say, invaders of my glorious inheritance, let God arise and shatter them asunder. In the name of Jesus, Invaders of my glorious inheritance shall not prosper. The sword of the Lord is against the invaders of my glorious inheritance. They shall not prosper. The blood of Jesus overthrew the invaders of my life and cast them to desolations. Holy Ghost fire, arrest the invaders of my life and bring them to desolations in Jesus' name. These invaders of glorious inheritance they came with surprise attacks i decree over your life whether expected or non-expected attacks it shall not be established it shall not come true it shall not come to pass somebody say i prevail over them by the blood of jesus and i decree to your life every good thing in you in your life that have been invaded divine restoration divine restoration why not call for release of, the, of angels of God that excel in strength to bring back every good thing in your life that have been invaded and taken away? Say, angels of the living God. 
in the name of Jesus, arrest every good thing about my life that I've been invaded and taken away and restored back to me. Oh Lord, help us here this morning. Angels of the living God, arrest every good thing about me that I've been invaded and taken away. Arrest and restore. Arrest and restore. In Jesus' name, the blessing, the favor, the goodness, every good thing about my life that I've been arrested, that I've been invaded. Angels of the living God, arrest and restore. Wherever they are, arrest and restore. Oh Lord, help us. Something great is happening. You thought you lost it, but there is a restoration. You talk it over, but there is restoration. You talk it's afflicted, but there is restoration. Let the angels of the living God that excel in strength arrest every good thing that have been invaded in my life and restore them to the fullest. In the name of Jesus, every good thing about this garden that have been invaded and taken away, let the mercy of God restore. Let the blood of Jesus restore. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church says, the second attack against Job, verse number 16. If this is a pattern for believers, by this you are undoing every attack of the enemy against your life. You can see. Devil played his wicked strategy against Job. And I call for divine intervention over your own life. That any aspect of your life that have been invaded, divine intervention. In the name of Jesus. In verse number 16, read. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is falling from heaven and has burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell. Shout hallelujah. There was a fire, a raging fire that burned and consumed. The blood of Jesus arise against every strange fire. Every strange fire against you shall not prosper. He said the fire came and consumed. Are there things you have been gathering and putting together? May the Lord rescue you from the fire of torture. Some people will labor, connect, network. They have all it takes to make it, but they don't see results. Could there be a programming of a raging, tormenting fire? To keep consuming and eating up your strength and your resources and rewards. Somebody say they shall not prosper. <laughs> Lift up your voice. Say it is written. The Lord our God is a consuming fire. The Lord our God is a consuming fire. The Lord our God is a consuming fire. Therefore every raging fire against my life be consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus name. Raging fire against my life. Holy Ghost fire. Consume every raging fire against me. Blood of Jesus, destroy every raging fire against me. Blood of Jesus, quench every raging fire. Quench, 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 quench. Let the power in the blood of Jesus quench every raging fire against me. Let the power in the blood of Jesus quench every raging fire against me. Raging fire against this garden shall not prosper. Raging fire against this garden shall not prosper. Lift up your voice. Raging fire against me. Be quenched by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. If I were you, I will give it all. Malakatade. The Lord our God is a consuming fire. The Lord our God is a consuming fire. The only one of Israel is a consuming fire. Let the consuming fire of the living God quench every raging fire against my life. Somebody lift up your voice. Quench this raging fire. Quench this raging fire. Hey, yakadaka laburana makotoba here. Into patatara. Quench this raging fire. Yes, yes. It won't eat up your resources. It won't devour you. It won't destroy you. It won't devour your strength. Come against the raging fire. You raging fire set against me. The blood of Jesus is against you. The hand of Jehovah is against every raging fire set against my life. Holy Ghost fire. Consume and silent. Devour every raging fire. Mazeged the Gelita Borante. I see the hand of the Lord upon somebody here. Every raging fire against your health be consumed 
by the blood of Jesus. Raging fire against your well-being. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Raging fire, it shall not prosper. The blood of Jesus, rebuke and condemn raging fire. Can somebody lift up your voice and double the aggression? The Lord rebuked this raging fire. Blood of Jesus, quench every raging fire. Blood of Jesus, quench every raging fire in my life. Blood of Jesus, quench every raging fire in this garden. Blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Quench every raging fire set against my life. In the name of Jesus, let the power and the blood of Jesus quench every raging fire set against this gathering in jesus name we pray and everyone says what was the thought attack against you i command whatever raging fire that is eating up your resources be silent be quenched by the blood of jesus and every good thing about you the raging fire has devoured blood of jesus restore in Jesus' name. I decree to your life by the spirit of prophecy. Raging fire shall have no hold over your health. The blood of Jesus quench every raging fire against your health. The blood of Jesus quench every raging fire against your well-being. The blood of Jesus quench every raging fire against all that pertains to you. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout the blood of Jesus threefold. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Can you double the aggression again? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Can you double the aggression, somebody? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood. Say, blood of Jesus. Quench every raging fire set against my life. Blood of Jesus. Quench. Quench every raging fire set against my life. Be quenched now by the blood of Jesus. Somebody better quench it, 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 quench it. Now, in the name of Jesus. Mazeke de la Kaba. Ye kata ta 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 ta. You got ronema katu karana makoto. Yeah, yes, yes. The blood of Jesus. 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 Quench every raging fire. Set against this gathering. I command it be quenched now. In Jesus' name we pray. And verse 17. The third attack against Job. Read. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Cadians made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carry them away, yea, and slain the servants with the head of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. The bands of raiders with the head of sword. The bands of raiders. And when they came, they fell on the camels. You can see the first three attacks targeted on this wealth and his resources. What can break a man when you know you are gifted, you are hardworking, well connected, yet you are suffering? What can break down a man when you do all you needed to do but no fruits? What can destroy the strength of a man when having done all it's as if you have not done anything. Whatever that is attacking your source of wealth shall not prosper. It is frustrating to know that you have done, the, you have put in the best, but nothing is happening to favor you. Somebody say, not any longer. It was a satanic strategy to release bands of raiders. It's like the more the person is planning and gathering and trying to do things, they just come and clear them off. Lift up your voice and decree against bands of raiders. Say, 
Lift up your right hand. Bands of raiders. Bands of raiders. Assigned against my life. Let God arise and shatter them asunder. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus rebuke this band of raiders. The blood of Jesus condemn these bands of raiders. In the name of Jesus. You band of raiders. Assign the bands of raiders assigned against my life. Let God arise and scatter them asunder. Scatter, shatter, scatter, shatter, scatter. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody lift up your voice and decree against the bands of raiders? In the name of Jesus. No galaga rozo balika propo. Mozuge legris kati li di 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 haskadua. Hindra na mosuka padia. Amen. Ah, you want to ask God for grace to prevail over this band of raiders. Some of them, the most frustrating part is they make you enjoy and taste wealth. And when the person thought all is well and settled, they stir up some dangerous occurrences that we make it of things of the past. And the person will begin to say in his lifetime, I used to be wealthy. If you know me, if you, if you know who I used to be, you should be moving from one level of glory to another. Yes. Ah, whatever projection of band of raiders to frustrate your source of wealth shall not prosper. Yes. Lift up your right and say, bands of raiders assigned against my sources of wealth. Hey, yakata demonia. Hey, bands of raiders assigned against my sources of wealth. Holy Ghost fire, consume them and desolate them. Consume them and desolate them. In the name of Jesus, bands of raiders assigned against my sources of wealth. You shall not prosper. The blood of Jesus rebuke and destroy the bands of raiders assigned against my sources of wealth. You shall not prosper. Holy Ghost will consume and desolate, overthrow and desolate the bands of raiders assigned against my sources of wealth. They are overthrown. They are overthrown. They are overthrown. They are cut off. They are overthrown. They are cut off. They are overthrown. They are cut off. They become desolate. In Jesus' name we pray. At this point, why not dedicate your resources? What you have and you don't appreciate, the enemy is desperate to take away. Somebody say it won't prosper. Yes, you are believing God for more. Why not dedicate unto God every good thing you have? Once it's dedicated and covenanted unto the almighty God, the enemy can't take them away. Your children, they bring joy to you. Whatever that brings joy to your life, dedicate now unto the Lord. Your career brings joy to you. Your wealth brings joy to you. What is it that brings joy to your life? You better dedicate them and covenant them unto the blood of Jesus. Say, whatever that brings joy to my life, whatever that brings joy to my life, I dedicate and covenant you to the blood of Jesus. I enthrone the lordship of resurrected Jesus over that that brings joy to my life. This, the, my wealth, my prosperity, my gift things, I dedicate and covenant to the blood of Jesus. Somebody better dedicate, covenant to the blood of Jesus, and throne the lordship of resurrected Jesus over, over your wealth, over your prosperity, over your career, over your well-being, over that which brings you joy. Dedicate and covenant them unto the lordship of resurrected Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And I decree the power in the blood of Jesus to shield you to preserve you. Remember that resurrected Jesus is the root and the offspring of David. So resurrected, somebody say resurrected Jesus. You are my root and my offspring. Listen, many blessings will begin to spring forth from your life and nothing will cause it to dry up. Blessings will spring forth. Nothing can dry up your source of wealth. Say resurrected Jesus. You are my root and my offspring. Therefore, blessings spring forth in my life. In Jesus' name. 
because resurrected Jesus is my root and my offspring. Resurrected Jesus is my root, is my offspring. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command, I decree blessings spring forth out of my life. Glory spring forth out of my life. Rejoicing spring forth out of my life. Call it forth. Somebody call it forth. Somebody call it forth. Somebody call it forth. Because resurrected Jesus is my root and my offspring. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, blessings spring forth out of my life. Rejoicing spring forth out of my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the church says, Now, after the sources of his wealth had been attacked, the devil stepped further. I command that evil will not advance in your life. In Jesus' name. Verses 18 and 19. What says the scripture? Look up and read. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I alone am escaped alone to tell thee. Somebody the hand of the Lord is giving you victory. Amen. The enemy now shifted the attack to his family. Amen. But that attack will not, suffer, will not survive in your life. Amen. He shifted that attack to the family. He said, okay, if I attack your source of wealth and you are still giving thanks to God about his family. And what did he use? He used a great wind from the wilderness a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house meaning there is no way of escape and the house collapsed upon the people and they are dead but the Lord rebuked the evil witness that had been waiting while they were celebrating to carry the news of evil occurrence this evil witness that seems to be part of the celebration. But the assignment was to watch evil occurrence. See, they are laughing, they are dancing, they are rejoicing, they are marrying, they are feasting. It's waiting. Is this how it will keep being good? Somebody say yes. yes. And there was an evil witness saying, would there not be something that will terminate their joy? Somebody say, nothing shall terminate my joy. In the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke the wind of of the enemy wherever the source he said a great wind from the wilderness whatever be the source of evil wind in your life i command it to dry up in the name of jesus i have seen a lot of attack through the wind we were in we were walking on the street and somebody and a wind blew with everybody felt the wind, it must be a strange wind. And right in that midst, two people got paralyzed. Right there before our eyes. What happened? A wind. I was in another place. We saw the wind just blew. And somebody ran, ran mental. And all the people said, the assignment of this evil wind backfired to the center. Thank God, God rescued that particular person. Because brethren knew it was an evil wind. Whatever wind, whatever that is projected into the wind to attack your life, let it be known unto you that resurrected Jesus with his healing winds is, is riding upon the winds, is, is riding upon the winds to your rescue. The blood of Jesus is riding upon the winds to your rescue. So evil projection into the wind to confuse you shall not prosper. Evil projection into the wind to afflict your health shall not prosper. Evil projection into the wind to cause depression over your life, it shall not prosper. Evil projection, uh, you see, the wind, they can use anything. They can use the water, they can use any elemental force. But this particular time, it was the wind. I've seen the operation of the, the enemy projecting wickedness to the wind. As they speak evil, the wind will carry it into different parts. 
we, uh, no matter where you are. Somebody who has been rejoicing will just plunge into deep depression. And to recover, we take the grace of God. Lift up your voice. Say, whatever evil projected into the wind to afflict my life, turn back unto your sender. In the name of Jesus, whatever evil projected into the wind to afflict my life, I command you in the name of Jesus, turn back to your sender. Turn back. Turn back. Ah, wind of disaster, turn back to your sender. In Jesus' name, wind of affliction, turn back to your sender. Wind of torment, turn back to your sender. Wind of infirmity, turn back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, whatever evil projected into the wind to attack my life, the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. In the name of Jesus, my runa moska. Hey, karatatatata, turn back, turn back, turn back. Amen. Brethren, there was a circular in an office. Somebody got promoted. It was the decision of the board. And then they were applied. Then from the, the human resource, we write a letter to confirm. And everybody was coming to say congratulations. Somebody started. She start, sat still until everybody left. All she did was to pass by and say, congratulations. And he said, the moment she passed, a wind, boom. And the next thing, the phone rang. Say, could you report to the human resources? We noticed something in your file while we were trying to type your letter of promotion that something had been in your file and with this, we don't think you deserve it. A wind blew. And truly, the person was inquiring, how did it happen? He said, I just picked up your file as I was instructed to type. As I was getting ready, something blew to that page. The same wind brought an evil occurrence that had been forgotten. And she took the file to say, um, does this really matter? Or we sh I should go ahead and type the letter. He said, oh, we never even knew that was there. Please don't proceed. Are there things due to you that when you are about to get it, the wind of the wilderness will blow away? And you say, I almost got it. But it never happened. Somebody say, that will not be my portion. <laughs> there are many good things you should have been enjoying for na by now. Is the attack of the enemy. The device was to release a wind of wilderness and to make that person to, en to be in, to, en to make that person to live a life of wilderness. Therefore, lift up your voice. Every wind from the wilderness. <laughs> Every wind from the wilderness against my life. Oh, wind of the Holy Spirit, blast it back onto the sender. The wind from the wilderness against my life. Oh, wind of the Holy Spirit, blast it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn the wind from the wilderness. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn the wind from the wilderness. I command the wind of the Holy Spirit. 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 The wind of the Holy Spirit is blowing over this garden. The wind of the Holy Spirit blasts back. This wind of the wilderness against my life blasts it back. Blast it back in the name of Jesus. I command the wind of the Holy Spirit. Blast back the wind of the wilderness attack against this garden. Blast it back to desolation in Jesus' name. Why not give God a wave of free? You can command the wind of the Holy Spirit to bring in the blessings into your own life. 
if the wind of the wilderness, the wind of the enemy can take away the, evil, the good, the wind of the Lord can bring the blessing. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, the Holy Spirit came as a rushing mighty wind. He brought the blessing. Now the wind of the Lord can bring in the blessing. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit bring blessings into my life. The wind of the Holy Spirit bring favor into my life. The wind of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A brother not too long ago was testifying. They had the list of people to fire, and he was called to the office to, and they, they were first discussing the terms with him. And the moment they said, they said, "You say what?" That was all he said. "You say what?" And immediately there was a switch. The wind of favor blew. And say, wait a minute. I think we still need you here. If the enemy can bring a sudden wind to switch blessings around to disfavor somebody, the Lord can release the wind of the Holy Spirit to bring blessings to your life. Why not receive the wind of favor? Let the wind of the Holy Spirit bring blessings to my life. Listen. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, the Holy Spirit with a rushing mighty wind, it, it, it brought the blessing. You can command the wind of the Holy Spirit. If I were you, this is my moment. Mention situations in your life and command the wind of the Holy Spirit to bring in the blessing. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit bring the blessings, bring healing to my life. The wind of the Holy Spirit bring joy to my life. The wind of the Holy Spirit bring refreshing to my life. The wind of the Holy Spirit bring peace into my life. The wind of the Holy Spirit bring blessings to my life. In the name of Jesus, can somebody welcome the wind of the Holy Spirit into your life? Malika Porandaba. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit bring blessings into my life. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit bring favor into my life. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit bring rejoicing to my life. In the name of Jesus, receive it. In Jesus mighty name we pray. And the church says in all this the devil was not satisfied. What was the next attack? Chapter 2 verse 7. What says the scripture? So when Satan fought from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boiled from the sole of his foot unto his crown. Infirmity on his body that brought him to ashes. The Bible says he sat down among ashes. Infirmity that brought him to ashes. That won't be your lot. A righteous man, a wealthy man, a famous man, prosperous man. Ah, the Lord is fighting on your behalf. May they not afflict you with sickness. Of what importance is your fame or wealth or prosperity when somebody is brought down to ashes in sickness? Any projection of sickness, of infirmity in your life, it will not come to pass. We have seen, we have, have seen wealthy people, great people, famous people. All they were doing is, if somebody can fix this, whatever it will cost, name it, billions of dollars I will pay. But thank God, God did not permit the devil to touch his soul. Any sickness that wants to bring you down to reproach, it shall not prosper. Amen. Lift up your voice. Jesus paid the price. He bore your sin and your sorrow. He took away the pains for your sake. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. It is easy to plan and set up goals. May they not strike you down with sickness. It is easy to have the connection and you know what to do. May they not strike you down with sickness. Lift up your voice. Begin to reject sicknesses and diseases in your life. By the blood of Jesus, I reject sickness. 
I reject disease. Sickness is not my portion. Break covenant with sickness. Break covenant with infirmity. By the blood of Jesus, I reject sickness. By the blood of Jesus, I reject infirmity. I break covenant with sickness by the blood of Jesus. I break covenant with infirmity. The blood of Jesus rebuke sickness and cast it out of my life. The blood of Jesus rebuke infirmity and cast it out of my life. Sickness, let go of me. Disease, let go of me. Infirmity, let go of me. Holy Ghost fire, flush sickness out of my life. Holy Ghost fire, flush disease out of my life. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, flush sickness out of my body. Holy Ghost, I flush sickness, flush infirmity. Declare, Holy Ghost, I flush it out, flush it out. Flush it out, flush it out now. Mazakatada badiga labrosebia. Ah, the blood of Jesus rebukes sicknesses and infirmity in every part of my being. Mesikatala brosegedia. Jodobogoboroda balakurana masida. Break covenant with sickness. Break covenant.